guys welcome back to my channel happy girl Alaska I am your girl Terry and if you're new here welcome so today is Saturday and I'm about to go run some errands um, I need to stop by the UPS store and then I think I'm gonna head over to coach because these moccasins that I wear I love these moccasins they are so comfortable and I think they're well they're called driving shoes but they look like moccasins to me the paint is starting to wear off on the toe part and so I'm pretty sure they probably have like the paint that you can put on it to touch it up. I hope they do. So I'm going to stop by over there. Um, maybe we'll peek into some other stores to see what kind of goodies they have. Lord knows I don't need to shop anymore because I have more than enough. Um, I do plan on putting out some more fashion videos. I want to do some um, fall fashion, some corporate workwear, office lookbook type stuff. Um, and then maybe even talk a little bit about professional etiquette, my career path, um, and all that stuff. So we'll see. I, I think it's good to have a variety on this channel. Yes, I live in Alaska. Yes, we get out, we see Alaska. I like to give info about uh, information about Alaska. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and give you a real quick outfit of the day, and then I'm going to scoop. All right, so here is my outfit of the day. Um, I am wearing this hat that I picked up from Amazon. I think it's super cute. It's another one of those paper boy type of hats. And the material is corduroy. And then this part is like a faux leather. So it's really nice. I love it. And then I have on this bodysuit that I got from Zara. It's like a rust color, I guess you could call it, or like a terracotta. Um, I feel like this color is going to be really big for the fall. I've been seeing it a lot. So I um, wanted to kind of get in front of, not in front of it, but you know, participate in that trend. And then I have on this faux feather, <laughs> faux feather, faux leather jacket. And if you all have been following me through the winter last year, you saw that I wore this and I styled it with a faux fur collar. And then I have on this guest belt. And I had on a belt that was an exact match, but apparently I've been eating all the snacks. So <laughs> it wouldn't button the way that, or it wouldn't buckle the way that I wanted it to. So I was like, eh, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. And then these jeans, I've had them forever, since forever. They are from The Gap. Um, they've held their color pretty well. Um, they're, they faded this time though, and I think it might be because I put them in the dryer, but they're super stretchy, super comfortable. I love them. I've had them for over four plus years, I believe. And then these are the shoes that I was talking about. So these are the coach riding shoes and I think they call them riding shoes because in the back they have these little stub thingies so that when you're driving you won't ruin them but they're very comfortable but look see on the toe how the paint is like rubbing off and sometimes I drag my feet too and that's not good so but they're comfortable they feel like house shoes so I want to do what I can to preserve them and hold on to them and I'll continue to wear them even though it's the paint is rubbing off until the, it just starts looking ridiculous. But right now I'm okay with how they look, but I still wanna see if I can find some paint to touch them up. So anywho, I am gonna get on the road here and I will check back in probably when I'm in the car. All right, you guys, I got my first um, errand down. So I went to a UPS store. So our next task, is I want to go to the Brown Jugs warehouse because I had this wine when my daughter and I went to Kincaid Grill. It was really good. And it on the bottle, I love Riesling. On the bottle, it said Riesling almost dry. And to me, it still tasted like a regular Riesling. I don't know. I like the, the flavor of it, though. Um, it was really light and subtle. Um, I guess it wasn't as sweet as the other Rieslings that I've had. So I took a picture of the bottle because I told the guy, I was like, I have got to find that. And the name of it, give me a second. Y'all, Kasha and I have been out and about trying to get photos for Instagram. We've been working our butts off. So if you're not following me on Instagram, okay. So let me give you the scoop. If you're not following me on Instagram, you might want to do that because what I'm doing is kind of giving you a preview of what the upcoming video is going to be like. Um, right now I'm trying really hard to post at least once a week. I've been doing pretty good with that. So hopefully the trend continues. I'm going to try really hard. 
But yeah, Happy Girl Alaska on Instagram. A lot of people don't have Instagram accounts. I have a Facebook, but I haven't been putting anything out there. So, and then, like I've mentioned before, I try to put the same stuff on my community tab as I put out on Instagram. So, that's just a little heads up for you all. Um, but here we go. This is the bottle. I don't know if anybody's heard of that or if I have any other Riesling drinkers out there. Um, but yeah, I hope they have it. So we're going to go to the warehouse right now. Then when we're done at the warehouse, we're going to go to the Fifth Avenue Mall downtown, hit up Coach to see if they have some paint for these shoes or maybe they can like tell me where I can get some. Um, and then there was one more place I needed to go. And I can't, I can't remember. Oh, no. Okay. I got to hit up one other place before we head over to the, uh, warehouse but it's good because it's all in the same vicinity by the time this video airs you should have seen my tour of midtown anchorage and that's where i am right now so um yeah yeah midtown is pretty cool all right check back in all right you guys so they didn't have the Riesling I was looking for. What is up with this? Oh, um, they didn't have the Riesling that I was looking for. Um, so I picked up a Pinot that's made by the same company, and then um, the cashier recommended a Riesling that he said was really good. So. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll show you guys the wine once I get back to the house. It's been a while since I've had a wine down with you all. So if anybody would be interested in seeing another wine down, let me know. That'll kind of be a blast from the past for me. But basically what I do with the wine down is I'll prepare a meal, but then I also um, share whatever wines that I'm entertaining um, at the moment. So, and I don't know. Maybe we can make it a chit chat too. I think I have some pretty good chit chat topics that we can delve into. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna skip going to the Fifth Avenue Mall because the one place that I had to go to before I went to the liquor store, I was in there a lot longer than I thought I would be and I got super hot. So I'm kind of annoyed right now. <laughs> so I don't think I wanna go downtown and search out a parking spot and then go inside and see if a uh, coach has what I'm looking for. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. That'll be a really good excuse to get out of the house and uh, we'll explore a little bit. So anywho, I am gonna go ahead and concentrate on the road. Um, real quick mention, there's this song that I have been enjoying so much. I have been enjoying so much and the name of the song is Woman by Doja Cat and it kind of has like a Latin beat to it in my opinion. I love it. I love it you guys. If you don't know, I love music. I love all types of music. I love dancing. I mean, it's just, yeah, that song has been in heavy rotation on repeat. If you ride with me, you'll get annoyed because that's what we're listening to. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and I'm going to head back to the house. We're back at it again. Back on another incline trail. Y'all see that hill? Babe. <laughs> My sister is walking. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. But when it comes to these inclines, man, they get me. Anyway, 
We're gonna keep going. We're gonna make it to the top. I think I look fitter than I feel. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna continue this journey. Not heading back yet, so it's a lot more to see. What a perfect day to be outside. Everybody.